Hello, digital card fighters. This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, bringing you another interesting card reveals. Today we got a bunch of zero related card reveals after the amazing Dayusha and Die Kaiser got shown off. We have so much more to go over with. So without a further ado, let's dive right into that and we'll see where that takes us. So, our first off, we have the original Savior Zero. So, Limber Break 4, when wrote upon, until the end of your turn, your Vanguard gets plus 1,000, and one of your opponent's units gets minus 8,000. Retire any rear guard that became zero or less. In addition, if your Vanguard is alien, call an alien from your deck. So, this helps out Zeals, which will probably get a little boost as a second, a third option with the available. Reverse and Die Kaiser builds that you will be seeing. So be very cautious. You're going to see like three builds going around when this deck drops. And when this unit is boosted, it gets plus 3,000 until the end of turn. Ooh, very whoop de doo Then we have Fusion Monster Bur Bug Read. So when this unit attack hits a, a 6,000 or less unit, draw a card. So you're definitely going to be lowering to make sure this alien goes off. Then we have Heat Ray Monster Gigabolt. So when play Soul Blast to have one of your opponent's unit gets minus 3,000 until the end of turn, retire rear guards that become zero. You know, nothing big, nothing too over the top, nothing, you know, I don't know, strenuous. This definitely helps out the alien deck become more of its own identity about minusing cards and starting clearing board for nothing. But here is our big boy. Aqua Force got shown off. We have Blue Wave Tetra Drive Dragon Limit Break. Once per turn, when this unit attacks, it gets plus 5,000 and the following ability until the end of turn. At the end of battle, your rear guard attack. If it is the fourth battle of that turn, Counter Blast 2, discard two cards to stay in this unit and draw two cards. No minus drive checks, guys. No minus drive checks. And when this unit attacks a Vanguard, it gets plus 3,000 until the end of turn, which is really good because you don't have to guarantee hit with this, but you just have to guarantee swings. And now we have Title Assault. Everybody knows what assault, uh, Title Assault does. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked the Vanguard, stay in this unit. And this unit gets minus 5,000 until the end of turn. I'm kind of sad that Title Assault didn't have like a Counter Blast 1 to be able to guarantee swing on Vanguard. But I kind of get it. It should have that ability because, again, this is really tough because, again, Tidal Salt can't hit. Now, it has to. This only attacks, though, which isn't bad. So you could do combo and Tidal Salt be the second to swing in to make the fourth battle existent. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. And now we have Wheel Assault at the end of the battle. This unit boosted Counter Blast to exchange two of your rear guards positions. Cool. Zero doesn't play well with these two. I'm going to say maybe Tidal Salt probably as a two of, but they just don't play too well in this format. Um, I, it really doesn't play well, and this is only going to be behind the Vanguard to guarantee two of your units get pulled to the front. But now we have Cleanup Celestial Ramiel Reverse, so Limit Break 4, lock two Celestial Rear Guards to have three of your front row Celestial Unit. Get plus 5,000 and put one of your opponent's rear guards into the damn zone at random, prioritizing the back row. Oh, come on. It's already random. Don't prioritize the back row. Just make it random in anything, and you kind of get this luck based system. With the priority to face. With priority to face up cards, your opponent's damage zone into the drop zone. <sighs> I get it. I get it. I get it. This this is just way too complicated for Ramiel Reverse to be going with, but I get it. I wish she had better. When either player card is put from your damage zone, their damage zone into the drop zone, this unit get plus 5,000 until the end of turn. Uh, they could have boosted her in some way, shape, or form. I get it. The way either player's card is put into damage zone, so when they heal, you get a free 5,000. Okay. When you heal, free 5,000. Mm, I want to love it. I want to give it every ounce of... Mm. 
but locking two Celestial Rear Guards already puts you at a major disadvantage. This deck is built around the fact that you will be playing stands with it. And that is the truth on this because you will be putting majority of the stands into working for you because you're locking two Celestials. I mean, you want to use stands because, again, you're getting plus 5,000 and everything like that. Then you have Emergency, emergency Celestial Dan Daniel. Danielle. So when damage zone when another card is put into your damage zone during your turn kind of blast you to call this card put it on the top of your put the top card of your deck into damage zone if you called a face down card turn that the card put into damage zone face up or face down so if she was face down and calls herself that's how that goes if you called a um, what is it? Her face up, then you just keep it face up. That's about it. And then we have Nursing Celestial Narl. So one place you may put a Celestial card from your hand into your damage zone. If you do, add a card from your damage zone to a hand. This basically is a fundamentally weaker version of No Sale, the grade one. So you play her because Celestial in the name, but that's about it. So I don't really see as much benefit with the Celestial stuff. They didn't really get a boost from their previous forms. So they're kind of in this weird limbo-y thing where they could have been extremely more deadlier. But it seems like we'll be waiting for Blouse to come in. And this is a decent amount of support. We're just going to have to see what all this can do. I mean, I really wish they gave more to them. But again, who knows? And we're going to have to wait and see. And, and with that guys hopefully you like this video you comment subscribe everything like that definitely keep supporting me and my community and i'll catch you in the next one peace